Hello YouTube, my name is Michael and today from Jake Yu Gi Oh! and today I'm going to be looking at number 70. I'm going to be looking at some new cards, but first is number 76, Gladiel, the Melody Lamestra. So, it's a rank 7 Light Fairy with 2700 attack and 2100 defense. Its materials are 2 level 7 monsters, so it's generic, so maybe Red Eyes can use it. So, you can use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. This card's attribute is also treated as the same attributes as its material. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle with monsters with the same attribute as this card. Okay, cannot be destroyed by effects of monsters with the same attribute as this card. Alright, that's cool. And then third, which is a quick effect, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and detach one material from this card. And if you do attach that monster as material. So, I guess it can be hard to get rid of, because since that's a quick effect, and it doesn't, and so if they try to like target it, you can go like, nah, and then as long as there's one of the same attribute, at least if they're trying to destroy it. I guess if they try to like castell it or something, or try to get over it that way by bouncing it, or targeting it, and not destroying it, it would get rid of it. But anyway, on to the next cards. So, we got... First card we got is Star Liege Dragon Seifert. Level 4 Light Dragon Effect Monster. 1800 attack, 0 defense. Send any number. You can only use its first and second effect once per turn. You can send any number of dragon monsters from your hand or face up to the uh, face up field to the graveyard. Add from your deck to your hand one dragon monster whose levels equal the total level of the sent monsters. You can banish it from your graveyard and it then you can target one level 8 light or dark dragon and add it to the graveyard. So, I, I, it's a chaos, it's a good chaos support card. I don't know if uh, it's enough though. We'll, we'll have to see. Galaxy Satellite Dragon. Two dragon monsters, link two with corners bottom left, bottom right. Two dragon monsters. Okay. So you can only use a, both of its effects once per turn. Uh, during either player's battle phase quick effect you can banish this card from your field or graveyard then target a number xyz monster you control because original type and attribute are dragon and light until the end of this turn or until the end of this battle phase my bad have all battle damage your opponent takes also that target attack becomes equal to the number in its name times a hundred so wait, so if you use this with the number 76 that we just did, wait now, number 76 is a light fairy, but if you did it with like, there's a, um, there has to be like a high dragon that I'm not, oh, number 99, Utopic Dragon, that's 9900 extra attack, oh boy, that's, that'll end games, alright, during your end phase, you can choose one card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. Hey, that that's good setup. No, during your opponent's end phase. Never mind. This this card's not lasting that long. You should probably be this is probably one of those cards that you just go to kill your opponent on. Anyway, next card. Oh god. A firewall dragon. Flashbacks. Firewall dragon dark fluid. So it's a link five, which is the first one I think, if I remember correctly. So 3,000 attack, its links are top, left, bottom, bottom left, and bottom right. If it's linked summoned, you can place counters on this card equal to the equal to how many different types of Cybers monsters are in your graveyard. Ritual, Synchro, Xyz, or Fusion. Sorry if I read that out of order. <laughs> During the battle phase, this card gains 2,500 attack for each of those counters when your opponent's... Uh, Monsters effect is activated. You can remove a counter, negate the activation. If this card is activated at any time between this card's attack declaration and the end of the damage step, it can make another attack. Okay, okay. Uh, at least you know it's a good thing the battle traps are. Um, uh, it says monster effect anyway, but it. Like, no one plays, like, Battle Fade or anything, but if they have, like, a quick effect to try to, like, pop it or whatever, 
you could, this is like potentially a huge OTK machine, but it, I think it's very situational. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, you know, but it seems like it'd be hard to get it. I mean, actually thinking about it, even if you got just like one Retro Fusion Synchro or XDs in the graveyard for it, it would be fine. I mean, it's a one negate, granted, but one negate sometimes is all you need to just OTK your opponent and finish out the game. Last, but possibly not least, because I haven't looked at these cards ahead of time. <laughs> Crossout Designer. J All right, so it's a quick play. You declare, you can only activate its card name once per turn. Declare one card name, banish that card from your deck, and if you do, until the end of this turn, its effects are negated as well as its activated effects and effects of the field uh, with the same original name. So. This is like a nobleman of uh, extermination, kind of. But what you do is essentially in a mirror match. This could be a good cyborg card if you. If there's a key component that you know you can banish from your deck just fine, and then and just negate your opponent and stop him from playing. That would be great. You know, this could just shut out a mirror match really, really hard. If you are both playing Pod Desires if in the non mirror match and you don't have like your Ash Blossoms or you can't afford Ash Blossom even though you should be able to because they're like because of that structure deck but there's you can use this and then you can just get people all right so yeah I I think that this card is a good side it could be a sideboard card at least if not for you know competitive Yu-Gi-Oh then at least like the more budget players because you get people with it all the time. But anyway, that's it for today. My name is Michael. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. And I'm out.